Many of you may remember when the Diana Celebration Exhibition was in town at the Graham, the Amway Graham Plaza Hotel created a beautiful replica wedding cake. Well, here we are. It's the wedding of the century for Kate and Wills, and we are back here at the Amway Grand, and we're talking with the executive pastry chef, Scott Hunter, once again. We know that two cakes are being served for this amazing celebration, and one of them, once again, is pretty traditional for English standards. Well, as far as we know, we think it's an English fruit cake, mm -hmm. which is uh, not really set up for the American palate, but we, like I say, last time we developed one that we really liked, and you know, I'm sure we can do the same thing again. Mm -hmm. the, the other thing we know is there's a chocolate wafer cake for groom's cake, so. Yeah, now we've been heard, hearing that it's a, a biscuit cake. What exactly is a biscuit cake? Is well, that? to me, the biscuit is a baked cake. Um, it's more, I almost want to say a moon pie, if I can. It's a it's a sandwich layer cake. It's a little biscuit, two, two sandwich together in England. You know, I'm sure they will develop that into a multi-tiered wedding cake and then, you know, just take the basic flavors of what the biscuit is and then they'll build that into a big wedding cake. Okay, we're going to tap into your expertise because you created that amazing cake, that replica of what Charles and Diana had at their wedding. Describe that in really what that is and how that kind of represents uh, tradition in England and what we're used to here in America. Well, totally different than what we're used to. We're, you know, uh, what I like here at the hotel, what we would make you is a nice moist uh, cake, uh, mousse filling, fresh berries as to where in England, a fruit cake. You know, you, you're born with it. it. It's a way of life over there. And it's very heavy and dense and boozy. Mm -hmm. um, like soaked in brandy or something like that. Usually, sometimes those cakes are made up to six months in advance, and then they're soaked for six months. So they're very heavy and dense. And like I say, not for the American palate. Mm -hmm. when, when we came up with the Diana cake, I went through about eight to ten different recipes looking for one that, you know, looked good. And they had so many cakes made, we finally picked one that, you know, we thought the American people would like, and they did. Mm -hmm. Like I say, we served in 1913 in banquets in Bentham's. You know, we had them in all of our restaurants, and we had the replica cake up in the lobby after it came back from the Grand. Mm -hmm. Well, here at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel, you make about 75 to 85 wedding cakes a year. Yes. And they're not the run-of-the-mill cakes. I know some are very simple, but you get asked to do a lot of creative things, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. We, we do a lot of specialty cakes. I'd probably say 80% of our cakes are fondant cakes. Um, we offer buttercream, we offer buttercream and fondant, we offer fondant. So when we get into the nicer cakes, which is like the replica, it was a fondant cake, which we can, you know, uh, spray with iridescent. We can paint them, we can hand paint them, we pipe on them. Uh, you know, really, whatever a bride brings into us, we will work with their ideas. Mm -hmm. And we basically sit down with each bride here at the hotel and we design a cake for them. Mm -hmm. And you, right now, you are making a red velvet cake, which we is are. very, very popular. And there's a lot of attention to detail mm -hmm. when it comes to the cakes that you make here. Why is that? Well, I think it separates us from, you know, the little small bakery type stuff like that. Um, when when you get into the fondant cakes and the amount of decorating and the skill it takes to finish a cake and make it be a wow cake instead of just, you know, a basket weave cake or, you know, a filigree or something like that, all of our cakes have that extra little touch to them. Mm -hmm. Well, that's wonderful. Well, thanks for letting us kind of check back in because we know you have that royal experience here. Well, we're going to try again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. And we know that every happy reception must involve a delicious cake. That's why we're here at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Scott says he's going to be keeping a close eye on the type of wedding cake served at Kate and Will's wedding reception. And if it's something that he feels he can replicate and it looks good, mm -hmm. that people will want to eat it. He's going to try to do it. He promised to bring us some of that cake back Ooh, here to 8 West okay, if he does decide to make it. Yeah, we're going to hold him to it. Yeah, definitely. It I has mean, been a fascinating, so yeah, absolutely. Well, it's just been such a fascinating day so far, you know, starting very, very early this morning, of course, the live coverage.
coverage started at 4 o'clock, watching, you know, the preparation and the celebration and really the ceremony of all of this, this magical day, not just for folks in England, but all around the world. Really, it is a global celebration. Mm -hmm. This is a day of history. So many wonderful aspects of it. Just a surprise every time you kind of turn on and you see coverage of seeing someone that's maybe attending or something really special that they're doing or historic. Right. That generations have done for a long time that it's just really interesting to yeah. uh, watch and to be a part of and we hope that you've had a good time kind of following the local West Michigan angle on the Royal Celebration with it's, us today. And, and it's, I love the tradition. I love the pageantry and just the, you know, how they've really kept to tradition. You know, you look back at royal weddings through the last decades and through yes. the last century and you really see the same kinds of people involved, same, the same kinds of pageantry. Yeah, and we just want to remind folks those two contests that we are running for Kate's Looks for Less, those will be on our website. Go and check it out. Plus, $50 gift certificate to Rivertown. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay West.